Hello folks, it's a hot one out here and you can probably see spots on my shirt from the, the sweat, it's so muggy, And uh, but I'm keeping my shirt on, don't worry about it. But what I need right now, the, I have the itch to get a new telescope and I'm thinking I'd like to have something for deep sky which is even more wide field than I have right now. And right now this is the most wide field I can get at 400 focal length. And I'm thinking maybe I'd like something in the 200 focal length. Not too wide field, but just the next rung on the ladder for me. Because I have 400 focal length and above covered. I just want to start going in that other direction. Now ideally, I want a triplet refractor that I can mount on top of the Rasa. So when I want to image with the new scope, the Rasa becomes the guide scope. And when I want to image with the Rasa, the new scope becomes the guide scope. And I'll leave my Explorer Scientific imaging full time. I'll just alternate between wide field with the Rasa and the new scope. Okay, so a scope I'm hearing a lot about is the Radian Raptor. It's a new scope on the market and it does fall into that range that I'm looking for. And let's scroll down to the specs here. And it has an aperture of 61 mm and a focal length of 275. Now the other scope I've been hearing about is the Sharp Star, which also has a, a 61 mm aperture. Now, I was looking at the specs here. It does come equipped with a 0.8 reducer, which don't appear to be factored into these specs. So if I if I actually um, include uh, the, the reducer that it comes with, uh, the 335 focal length, let's see, 335, 335 times 0.8 does drop down to 268. So, and the, and it says up here, the focal length or the focal ratio will drop down to 4.5 from 5.5 here. And uh, that's about the same as the Radian Raptor. So the definitely there's a, a big price difference between the two also, 999 versus 689. Now I haven't compared feature for feature, but from what I've heard, uh, the, there's a lot of bells and whistles with the Raptor and it might come more ready out of the box. But let's compare the field of view now. I'm in Astronomy Tools and I'm going to click on Field of View Calculator. And I'm going to do a comparison on the Orion Nebula. So I'll select M42 from the drop-down box. And now the first scope I want to bring up is my Celestron Rasa for comparison. So the focal length of my Rasa is 400 and the aperture, I already know this, it's 203. And I'm going to use, I'm still using a ZWO. No, I'm not using any, oh, oh no wonder. I want to pick imaging mode. I have to be in imaging mode, my mistake. Now it'll show the, the camera. I want to pick my... ZWO 1600. I feel like I'm one of the few who are still using this and everyone's upgrading. Okay, so let's add this to the field of view. Now this red box is my Celestron Rasa and this is how the, the, the Orion Nebula and Running Man fit inside my Rasa. Now let's add the, let's see, let's add the Sharp Star first. And the focal length, what did we say the focal length would be with Sharp Star? The focal length will be 268. And the aperture, 261. That 268 is with the reducer. Now let's add that. Oops, not share. I hit the wrong button. Uh, add to view. Oh, get out of here. Add to view. Okay, that's how Sharp Star looks compared to the Rasa, the Sharp Star being the yellow. Okay, now let's add the Raptor at 275. It's probably going to be almost identical here. And add to view. Yeah, so definitely they're both uh, both very close. In fact, I probably have a little bit wider, a tiny fraction wider with the Sharp Star. Hmm. So those are the two leading contenders for my next scope. Unless I can go even a little bit wider 
Is there a little bit wider? I don't want to go too wide. I just want to keep going in steps down to a, a wider field of view. And I, I view these telescopes as the next rung on the ladder. So what do you guys think? Uh, can you recommend something else beside these two? Or do you have a, a, a clear choice over which scope you would prefer over these two? Uh, let me know in the comments and I will see you later. Bye.